Little Red Riding Hood by Clara Doty Bates. If you listen, children, I will tell the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Such wonderful, wonderful things befell her and the grandmother, old and good, so all she was, never very well, who lived in a cottage in the wood. Little Red Riding Hood, every day, whatever the weather, shine or storm, to see a grandmother took the way with a scarlet hood to keep her warm, and a little mantle, soft and gay, and a basket of goodies on her arm. A bit of butter and cakes of cheese were stored in the napkin nice and neat. She danced long band of the trees as light as a shadow with her feet, and she hummed such tunes as the bumblebees hum when the clover tops are sweet. But an ugly wolf by change spied the child and marked her for his price. What are you carrying there? he cried. It is some fresh baked cakes and pies. And he walked along close by his side and sniffed and rolled his hungry eyes. A basket of things for granny it is, she answered brightly without fear. I know her very well, sweet miss. The road's branched towards the cottage here. You go that way and I'll go this. See which will get there first, my dear. He fled to the cottage, swift and sly, wrapped softly with a dreadful grin. Who's where? asked granny. Only I. Piping his voice up high and thin. Pull the string and the latch will fly, old granny said, and he went in. He glared her over from foot to head, and a second more of a thing was done. He gobbled her up, and Merle said, She wasn't a very tender one. And when he jumped into the bed, and put a second nightcap on, and he heard some footsteps presently, and went on the door a timid rap. He knew that the riding hood was shy, so he answered faintly to the tip, Pull the string, and the latch will fly. She did, and Granny in a nightcap, that covered almost up to her nose. Oh, Granny, dear, she cried, are you worse? I'm all of shiver even to my toes. Please won't you be my little nurse and snuggle up tight here under the clothes? And Riding Hood answered, Yes, of course. Her innocent head on the pillow laid, she spied great pricked up, hair ears, and a fierce great mouth, white open spread, and green eyes filled with wicked leers. And all of a sudden she grew afraid, and she softly asked in spite of her fears, oh, Granny, what makes your ears so big? To hear you with, to hear you with. Granny, what makes your eyes so big? To see you with, to see you with. Or Granny, what makes your teeth so big? To eat you with, to eat you with. And he sprang to swallow her up alive, but it changed the woodman from the wood, hearing her shriek, rushed with his knife, and ran the wolf in his own blood. And in what way he saved the life of pretty little Red Riding Hood. Hark, hark, the dogs do bark, beggars are coming to town, summon jacks, summon rags, and summon the velvet gowns.